Fighting against Greninja. Naruto. He's trying to. <laughs> That's right, Devin. You I'll, tell him. I wonder how cool Odyssey feels with that headband. Probably he not at like all. He must feel like super cool. Like, He's trying to challenge his inner ninja to fight against a grand ninja. So many matchups that Fox <laughs> goes in, it's like, yo, Fox can just get combo food. It's like dinner. But then he can mix everybody. So it's like, how good is your Fox? About medium rare. <laughs> And you feel like I have Adi uh, bias. Maybe I do. Maybe I do have a little Adi bias. I think bias. you have Odyssey bias. Yeah? Yeah, you, you should go and rewatch that video where you commented. <laughs> uh, I, I digress. Odyssey versus Venia. Game number one. So off the bat, Odyssey just playing his game. Why did I think he died just now? Because I thought he died too, man. I mean, From that up to what? It's uh, Fox is a strong character. And right now, like, Odyssey's doing a fantastic job of not letting Venia touch that ground whatsoever. Mm. But Venia going a little too hard there. Yo, that was freaky. I, Venia thought there was a stage beneath him, you know? I didn't think it was that far to the right. Regardless, gets that down tilt into an up smash conversion. eight after the hit. Exploded. And it looked true. That hurt my feelings. Nonetheless, Venia could still die. Them young boy reactions wasn't working just now. Odyssey a little bit late on that pull. Ooh, challenges the jump. Go for that retreating backer. Yeah, if any understands the name of the game right now, this is all extra credit. Let me put on as much damage as I can because there's so many things that I, if I panic, Odyssey's just going to kill me. Odyssey trying to get that two frame on the up tilt, but recovered a little bit too low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, neutral air will be able to get some combo damage started. You know, this neutral between them is really good. Venya being uh, really safe. <laughs> Man, yeah, up that, I mean, Venya is literally, no matter what the percent is, Venya is going to be searching for that neutral air. It gets him so much off of him whenever he's midair. And it's a good knockoff move, too. Good uh, use of the shine from Adi, trying to, like, buy some time midair. Okay, nice back air to cover his landing. Now the Adi skip. Jab, jab, up smash. Forget it. We got Adi sitting at 86%. Trying to sneak what? in that pivot grab. Uh, because he whipped it, he just canceled it with a jab, I suppose. Take nice catch on that the... double jump. Yes, just going to call him out. What? What is going on here? No jump. This is not looking good. Yeah. Fall right into my arms. That's right here. set up. I will be there to catch you when you fall. It was almost poetic. I mean, can we get, can we watch that replay really quick, Devin? That was pretty slick, actually. Let me just kick you in the face a couple times. I mean, great DI from Odyssey, honestly. You thirsty? Let me give you some water. You just fall into my arms. Yeah, but I. There's one thing I can call Venia right now. It's like. He's good, dog. Oh, well, he's pretty good. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. His edge guarding, whenever, when he's on point, his edge guarding is out of this world, which we just saw with all those hydro pumps. But great recovery from Adi. Yeah. Trying to do the best he can, possibly yeah. could have like reacted to it. You know, changing, changing the trajectory of his Firefox the second the hydro pump touched him. But there's nowhere else for him to go. So Benny just like set up completely to land that up smash. Or oh, maybe he could have went like diagonal to the ledge. Maybe. I think it was at an angle where he just would have fell into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. It was tough. Nonetheless, it was tough. Benny did a really good job. But honestly, coming back swinging right now, 105% already. I'm getting a catch of deja vu right now. This is, looks like the beginning of the previous game, except Adi actually got the kill this time. The bait. Did you see that? That was insane. He walked back a little bit, did a little dash to think he was retreating. He was like, nah, I'm still on offense, B. Got respect it. Oh, just jabs him out of the Fox Illusion. Try to challenge the Firefox. Got a little bit too hot. Too close. Okay. Good job, I honestly you already put him in the mix. That's the thing. Anytime one of these characters get in the mix by the other character, they can die. Odyssey put him in the mix, took the stock. Now you see him slow the game down. Now he's picking his spots again, trying to put him right back in the mix. Ooh, dragged him into the up smash, but it was a sour spot. 
Does you see him still I living, trying to catch I, the two frames that down smash? I think that down smash. Like, I think he down smashed instead of up smash. Oh, I don't yeah. Know why. That's probably what it was. Found himself a little bit too low, so up smash would have just been the sour spot, anyways. Okay, neutral trying to catch that Fox Illusion afterwards. There it goes. Down till up smash. Just slice. Classic. The just slice. The Venny is just slice. The just slice. Back air. Tech situation. He's going to wake up with some jabs. Why not? Ran right behind him. That's one thing you don't see Odyssey doing too much. You don't see too many dash attacks. Uh, dash attacks are pretty punishable. A lot of foxes think that it's safe. It's not safe. Venny going to be able to double jump out of that situation. So we got a lot of baby shurikens out here just trying to catch Audi's landing. Try to get the pivot grab, but Odyssey able to fade back. Not going to give it to him. Wow, the pressure. The pressure. He'd even throw out an attack and he's pressuring him. That was dangerous. Yeah, the Audi was definitely looking for like a roll or a spot dodge to catch that up smash yeah, afterwards. Playing with fire, man. They're going to get him on stage. 146 sitting on uh, Venya. Definitely not out of this, though. Great two frame from Adi, catching him with the up tilt. Back in, nice. That was a great bait. You saw Adi, the way he ran into him, he was definitely, did not expect like an aerial approach whatsoever, because he went for the pivot grab. Yep. And it looked like, it almost looks like Odyssey reacted to the whiff. A lot of times you see Odyssey empty hop. He does a lot of empty hop. Doesn't want to fall with anything on his shield. He saw the, he baited out the shield grab or whatever that was, the jab, and back aired him for it. Game number three. Back to town and city. I mean, we've seen it once, we'll see it over and over. Here we go. Jabs. Ah, not gonna get out of that. Just take just take the whole thing. Not I guess was playing patient that instead of coming to that up till I guess he was hoping that Benny was gonna land back onto the stage. Instead to the edge, which is why he didn't really go for a big punish. Dash attack. Look at this. I see Odyssey walking. Doesn't want to commit to anything. Doesn't want to take any unnecessary percentage. Just like that, <laughs> he overcommits. Hey, let's face him. Good Flip. stuff from Adi. Sets him up for that back here. You see a lot of times Odyssey will apply some pressure and he's looking for a roll. He's looking for a back roll. I wonder if Venya realizes that and is purposely not giving it to him. Ooh, gets the up tilt again. Just waits for him to land, gets that forward smash going. Yeah, Fox has so many ways to cover your landing, man. So many ways. It's not safe if you're in the air against it. Gonna Catches need to jump. the double jump. Mm -hmm. Up air to up air to up air to up air. One more. A little bit too antsy. Yeah, Adi has started the engine. Yeah, the mix is real. Try to get that forward air, but Adi just playing patient. Though you see the way he just walked, mm -hmm. trying he, to instill fear. Yeah, and you see Odyssey. He's opting. He's not opting for back throw or down throw or forward throw. He's up throwing purposely because he knows that's where he gives Venya the most damage. Wow. That was just a solid follow. Try to go for the Trump. Falls him with that ledge jump. He wanted that up smash. Dude, that up smash was definitely coming his way. Okay. Same grab. No up okay. air. Double air dodge coming from Adi. Well, Adi. Odyssey being pretty impressive right now. It doesn't seem like Venya has any answer to this. Odyssey looking just to close this out. 124 save on Venya. 130. It's looking grim. He's looking for that back air still. Dash attack and get him in the air. Nice, throw. nice catch on that landing. This is looking pretty much like a wrap for Venya. He needs a miracle yeah, to thank, bring home this set. Thank God Fox doesn't have any kill throws. <laughs> I mean, that's why you'll see. Notice that Venya has been going for shield a lot at this higher percent. Because, like, even if he gets grabbed, all he's going to do is just give Audi safe control. Man, going to put him right back on stage. Ooh, over commits with that, uh, with that man. But, I mean, you're up a stock. You can do things like that. Okay, Venya is still trying to be in this game. Catches him before the Fox Illusion. Gets dragged down by the forward air. Hints to an up air unorthodox kill. Down below the stage. Adi taking that two to one over My Venya. guy. That looks so clean, man. Odyssey is pretty good. Look at that nonsense. He understood. Listen, if I air dodge here, probably going to die. Two. Diddy. Sonic. Three, two, one. 
Now you don't see, we we don't see this matchup at all. This kid named Acro, pretty good, pretty good Sonic. I've seen him uh, go toe to toe with Angel Cortez as well over in uh, New Jersey. But I mean, um, Diddy Kong, man, there isn't too many uh, characters that can be oppressive to Diddy Kong where he doesn't have an answer. So we go a couple trades going on. Up throw, back air, bread and butters by Diddy. Gonna play a little bit with this banana. Get your mind out of the butter. Back here, gonna send them off stage. Okay. Couple B reverses, wave bounces with this banana pull. It's a much faster paced game than the one with, uh, than where he played our Hungry or the Falcon vs. Sonic game. Much faster paced. <laughs> and they agreed to Lilac for his game. That's weird. Great job by Jackal waiting out that banana. Grabbed him so that he wouldn't get tripped by it. Tries to hold that down smash. He was, uh, he was hoping for an air dodge or something, but missed time the release of that. Okay, sitting on top of a platform. You do not want to be on top of Diddy, man. It's hard enough to hit this character from on top of a platform. You just give him all stage control. And just like that, that up smash going to hit through the right platform of Lilat and take that first stock from Jackal. Okay. Good job by Jackal DIing out. Oh, forward smash is not going to do it. But you saw Jackal DI out from that down smash, so he didn't get hit by a, or that up throw. He didn't get hit by too many... Um, Two back airs, just one. And that Sonic back air gonna do it pretty strong, man. Even though it was a little stale, still was able to kill. Nice reaction by Dirk. Up throw, back air, banana pull. Gonna set something up. More hitboxes on the stage. Why not? All right, now Dill's doing a really good job of reacting. He's, he's with, I mean, he's throwing out moves, covering space, even though he's not hitting. He's forcing Jackal to do something. He's forcing him to roll. He's forcing him to uh, throw out something that's unsafe, spot dodge, whatever it might be, and then he's reacting and punishing accordingly. Just like that. Put him in the air with that banana, and then punish him with fair. Get hit with too many of those that high, man. Fair. Gonna attack on some more damage. Oh, Jackal doing a really good job, man, of bringing this one back. 91%, 97%. All of the momentum seems to be in Jackal's favor. And that back air gonna do it. That was a great, a great sequence by Jackal. He was down at least 80%. He did not falter at all. Slowly clawed his way back, clawed his way back, back air, grab, up throw, fair. Got him off stage, put Dylan in really bad situations. And then was able to capitalize. Nice job by Jackal. Great job. Let's see if this momentum um, goes into this game too. Ooh, just gonna catch it just like that. Not afraid of it. Nice pivot grab by Jackal though. Able to catch that monkey foot. Gonna punish that roll. Still doing a good job. He's not really dashing a lot. You see him walking, uh, keeping all of his options open. That would have been nice if that banana would have connected with that uh, spin shot, spin dash, whatever that blue uh, ball move is called. It's 20. Uh, it's about to be 2019. Ultimate is about to come out in December. I still don't know what time this music called. What the differences are, what they look like. Mm, nice catch, covering a lot of area with that um, spring. That is the name of the game. Smashes. How much area can you cover at once? Mm, and that uh, monkey flip gonna put cross up and put him right behind him. Just misses that forward smash. Gonna run right into that next one though. Okay, using the spring to keep himself safe. Yeah. Looking, looking fresh catching these uh, bananas, though. You see he has, I mean, we do have Shoyo James over there in, um, 
in Jersey. Jack would not even gonna falter. A lot of uh, a lot of other players would have did something on that top platform and got up tilted. But nonetheless, he was able to stay solid, and able to take that first um Dill's first stock. Here we go. Back throw. Nothing doing. Okay. Tries to trump. But kind of just gives uh, Jack and stage control again. Now Jack is at 136, 147 after the hit. Gonna take that stock with the up smash. Okay. Still gonna see if he could uh, swing this momentum back in his uh, favor. But that's not where Jackal wants to be, man. You do not want to be on top of that platform. Got to get yourself on the ground. You don't want to be jumping. Nice job by Jackal. He could have landed on the stage early, but opted to hold out so that the spring would, uh, wouldn't would fall on the stage after he used it. Try to get an early gimp on, uh, on him. That is nice by Jackal. Keeping him on top of that, on top of the platform. Do not want to be on top of anybody in Smash 4. Okay, cancels out his momentum with that, um, with the barrels, or cancels out the end line with the barrels. Jackal just catching, just keeps catching this banana. Um, they're not able to use the banana the way that he would want. Because Jackal's banana play is really, uh, really good. Now, even though, uh, Jack, that might be it. Yes, it is. Great job by Jack. He understands where he needs to hit you in order to connect the fair after the spin ball move. Look at that. He was able to stay right there inside of uh, Dill throughout the entire animation of the um, of the spin shot. Let me oh. take the train again. When, when's the last call for the bus? I don't know. Let's find out by going to 40 seconds. So I'm going to leave before the match starts because who leaves <laughs> in the middle of the match? People don't do that. All right. It was, it was a pleasure. Yes, yes. Austin. A pleasure. We'll see each other again. I make good choices. All right, guys. It's uh, the one and only New York City tournament. Zeno, we got losers aside coming up. Okay. Venia versus Bankai, Greninja versus Zero Suit Samus. So, I don't really see these two fight each other as often as I'd like to, honestly. Because I like to consider both these characters players very explosive. Like, Venia definitely just like gets one hit going. He can definitely take it a mile, and Bankai does the exact same stuff. Bankai being an insanely aggro player, but Venia gonna try to capitalize on that, trying to get that him off stage. Because right now, Bankai already taking 81% right off the bat. Get him with that sour spot up smash to send him flying. Ooh. Okay, good catch. Gonna be able to catch that landing. Smacks him with the up tilt. It sends him to the top of the blast zone. That's gonna be stock number one for Venia. Barely taking a scratch. We use air dodge again. You saw him drifting back a little bit. Reads the air dodge, uses the platform. Venia knew the platform was gonna be on the right side, so that's why he's opting to DI away to get away from the platform itself. Okay, Venia's moving some more. Waiting for that young opening. Ducks underneath the forward tilt for going for that jab. Very quick burst option. Again, all the up airs coming out. Venia again, DIing away from the platform. So Bankai cannot, uh, disallows the Bankai from being able to continue a ladder combo afterwards. That flip kick coming out. That push up. That was an opportunity for Venia to potentially go up and like hit him, but he already came into the hydro pump instead. Now this could be tricky because Bankai's already connected at uh, 64% as an edge guard opportunity. Tries to go for the flip kick, catches the stun gun, but went for the flip kick a little bit too soon. Doesn't matter. Gets the back air, taking away the stock himself. Bankai still in this fight, but Venia just sets him up completely with that down tilt. Now, Venya is literally like one neutral air, one down tilt away from potentially closing out this game. Okay, whips that second up smash. Bankai again doing a great job of just DIing away completely from Venya. Not allowing him to get those follow ups that he's looking for. But you cannot count Zero Suit out just yet. 
Nice catch on flip kick. Not, he wasn't able to take that last swing of up air, but gets it with the up smash. Vinny taking away game number one from Bankai. Mm. That is some tasty water, let me tell you what. Remember guys, stay hydrated. Mm. Get on that. <laughs> Get on that, Adrian. <laughs> That, that's that's definitely not me. I promise. Yes, actually, you gotta get on that hydration hey bot guys, nonsense. Austin here. Wow, that's a great impersonation. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> is that how I sound? From the Blaska. Oh my God. I don't even know what that is. Benny versus Bankai game numero dos. Here we go, Greninja fighting off against Zero Suit Sama. Venia doing a fantastic job of already connecting all these up airs. Bankai is already committed to his double jump. He forced to use the flip kick. Comes back down with a very quick up air of his own. Venia's gonna be waiting for the Bankai to find his way back down to the ground. At this point, Bankai's been doing a fantastic job catching those stun guns. This time, he was able to actually connect the flip kick afterwards and get that guaranteed spike. Destroying Greninja's stock. Down tilt, catching the landing. Waiting for that defensive option. This time went immediately for the up smash. Flip kicked his way out of that parry situation. Okay, Venia trying to, looking for like a potential pivot grab or turn a pivot like forward tilt. Pivot anything, the way he's dashing around. Poking shields. And we see Venia do this a lot, right? He likes to go for the jab into like reset grab. Keeps his opponents on his toes. Dash attack looked like that was potentially unintentional. There's him into the ground. Great uh, tech come from Bankai. It was probably supposed to be a perfect shield. Ooh, the sour spot of back air actually connected into a down tilt up air. What a conversion. Venia looking slick. Hey, Bankai getting that classic up air to back air. Didn't know which way he's gonna go. I mean, Benny has the, the ability to just go in any direction after that Hydro Pump. Trying to mix up his opponent, where he's gonna go. Those double air dodges coming his way. Okay, going for the Paralyzer. Benny not letting him land it. Now he able to use the platform to get the second up air afterwards again. You notice that Benny likes to do, uh, especially in this matchup against Bankai, I've been noticing a lot. He lo loves running up shield. Catches Bankai completely off guard because if, ba if Zero Suit forces, is forced to go for the grab and whiffs it, super big punishes afterwards. That's why you run up, grab run up shield is such a good option for Benny in this matchup. Go for flip kicks to try to cover all the options. Immediately into a down tilt to push him off. 91 to 132. This is pretty much anyone's game. If any knew the flip kick was coming, you saw him trying to preemptive it with an up air. On the forward air, trying to apply some shield pressure against him. Great spot dodge come from Bankai, avoiding the potential grab. One of that trumpet into the back air, catches him off guard with an up tilt after landing down on the ground. Great pressure coming from Bankai, just forcing him to use the normal get up onto the ledge. What am I guessing in Los Angeles? I don't get it. I'm gonna have to ask, I'm gonna have to ask Bankai about that later. He said. Nice. Game number three, Smashville. Again. Love the stage, get used to it. Or if you don't love the stage, get used to it. Here we go, back here. Back down with that dash attack to try to get something going. We got the whiff grab, does not matter. Able to get the second one. Trying to go for the air dodge with Shadow Sneak. It's going to be able to get a lot off of grabs. There we go. A quick frame one jab to push Venia off of him. Bonkai's just been trying to catch a lot of these landings with grab, but it's like the grab doesn't even come out in time before Venia just clutches it out. Using the Zero to grab onto the platform to mix up his recovery. A lot of empty short hops coming from Venia trying to force Bankai to push a button. The slow moving down air connects into a forward air. Trying again to follow up with the second up air right there. Now Bankai is looking for that opening with that paralyzer getting pushed back. Again, Venia is doing a great job at commanding this edge. 
Fadeaway forward air is really good options to go for. Dash attack or down tilt will lead into that up air. Venia, stock number one goes to him. He's not going anywhere though. You get, get over here with that grab. Chases after him with that flip kick. I feel like they've been doing this to each other. Bankai, whenever he goes for the flip kick defensively, Venia's right there trying to get that up air. That time, using the uh, flip kick offensively, Venia's going for the air dodge instead. Up air, can't get the, doesn't quite get the double that he was looking for. All this pressure, this is exactly what Venia has to do in this matchup. He's gotta get into Zero Suit's face, get the grabs, just not let Bankai play the game. Trying to play around that shield, drags him down, tries to go for the down air afterwards in case he was going for the tech, catches the flip kick one final time into an up air to take away that game. Two stocks. Man, to close out that set two to one, he's gonna move on to losers uh, quarters. There it is. Beautiful. What was that losers quarters? That was losers quarters. So Devin doesn't like the term. Losers it's not quarters. a fourth of something. It's not a quarter of something. So it's not losers quarters. Quarters only becomes comes before semis in winners because there's four of them. It's not because it's before semis. Semis means two though. So even calling I don't know. No, yeah, semis I, actually can mean semi uh, two or before one. At least is my understanding. I but learned, if I'm wrong with that, I learned in cooking better. class. No. What? It, <clears throat> How? That doesn't even make sense. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I. Uh, do you want me to finish my second? One. Lilac like Cruise? One. Interesting first stage. You don't see this too often as a game number one. You got some ball of music though. Only redeeming factor of this stage. It's the it's the mix theme. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, mix. Mix. It's, it's mix. It's mix. This is mix. mix. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to mix. I don't want to say like the full lyrics. Let's mix. It's yeah. time mix, to mix. mix. We got the mix. Mix, got mix, 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 mix. All right, I'm gonna stop because it's just completely Let's mix this bitch. Let's mix this bitch. Let's mix this bitch. Let's mix this bitch. It only works at full power when you're like rooting for Sage in yeah. person. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind him. It actually powers him up. Yeah, dude. He was dead ass losing, and then we started. Yeah, everyone started chanting that song. Yeah. Like I was like, yes, yes. But yeah, this stage, uh, I mean, Diddy's a mobile character. He likes sliding around. He, he's a slip and slide character. And then you got Corrin, who's just like, uh, you see that uh, You see that, that slope? Well, now it means my Insta pin is now an Insta pin. Insta inner. Like, it doesn't go it's into the ground. And now it's just like, Timper. Yeah. Insta's Timper pin. Just yeah. take it. Just, it's there. It's, it's right terrifying. there in the open. Terrifying. Absolutely terrible. So they both gained something from the stage. Yeah. A also, fair game one. Also, like the low platforms on the side is like, oh, this is Karn's domain. Yeah. Falling back air. Look at that. And then you see that pin, like right there. Like, oh no, oh lord. You're gonna have to respect it. Yeah. But you know, Diddy is a fast character still, uh, and like with a lot of mobility options, so he's able to like kind of finagle his way around. Um, I would say overall, I think the advantage on this counter pick would be maybe for Corn. If I if I had to pick one, I would say Corn because just the the, uh, the edge control that this dragon gets is silly. Well, he's technically winning by a percent. Okay. No, nah, he's the weight of a dragon. Oh, Come on. Yeah. Jeez, I mean, Corn Corn is a dragon. I mean, Corn yeah. can be a he or a she. You know. Yeah. It's Do you know to, how it's up to the players, much uh, a dragon weighs? I mean, like, come on. That's fair. Yeah, dude. I was about to compare him to Charizard, but Charizard's not a dragon. No, that's fly or fire flying. Yeah, he's a lizard. First stock going to <laughs> Frozen. that. <laughs> Frozen in that first stock. Yeah, they're real good. That dude, you got real good that. You got okay. that grab. Okay. Okay, okay, got that up throw going home. Okay. Hey, over there's been trying to catch an air dodge with that forward smash. Uh, the, the peanut pop gun has some. <gasps> Why? He almost oh my died God. in that pin, dude. Bro, he. he Let's mix. He this finished pin. the Elmers and bust out the gorilla <laughs> glue. Like, oh, God. Wonderful. Oh, jeez. Absolutely spectacular. Did he, did he has glue stuck to his controller? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how he holds it. He yeah. doesn't curl his fingers. He just, like. Keeps the open, uh, open yeah. of his palm and just like hits buttons. Yeah. Terrifying. Again, I grab it in the back, back air. 
And you know, you'll notice the way that Frozen's playing right now. He's doing a lot of empty short hops, just trying to wait for Dill to make the first move, since Dill technically has the lead. Yeah, I mean, and waiting for the pin. There's also the fact that like, uh, Corrin is a much slower character. Yeah. Ooh, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, Corrin doesn't have the fastest running speed. Yeah. So it's like, you have to take it slow, and uh, you. You can't not take it slow. Yeah, you can't push the envelope. <laughs> He's running at me. Barefoot. Yeah. What do I do? <laughs> Get some Nikes, dog. Yeah, dude. Backer's going to be able to catch on that platform. Bro, I don't know. If someone ran at me in real life barefoot, I I'd be frozen. It's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... It's like That's happened to me. It's because like there's clearly something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Okay, 133%, but the thing is, that's a lot of rage for Frozen. Potentially get this kill. I mean, if he gets a grab, Ooh, doesn't even yeah. need it. Just gets the conversion. Okay. Frozen taking away game one. I like it. I respect it. Wait, so can you fill me in on the results from last week? I completely missed that. Uh, I guess. Who won? Venya. Oh, who do you beat, Dill? He fought Dill in winner's semis. Oh. Uh, Dill lost to Venya and Utopian Ray. So Grands was Venya and Utopian Ray. So literally the two people that like Dill would like beat every week to win. Finally beat him. Beat him. Both of them beat him. That's spooky. So, yeah. yeah it's super spooky. Zeno Ween, bro. It's like how it yeah. is. But now. Now we got Frozen up game one. Dill losing to Jackal. Uh, the winners. Prince of Paste. Yeah. That's a good title, dude. I'm yeah. calling Frozen F now. The Prince of Pace. <laughs> Alright, Town and City. Smaller ceilings. Gallagher. We cool. all know. You all know Town and City has the smaller ceilings. I don't know how many We've times said it I gotta say it. a billion times. It's literally Small all sides. I have to say about this. Stick. Small ceiling. Um, Multi-plats. Crazy platforms. They do whatever they want. One of them tries to be an ambulance and go, wee. Yeah. Gotta get this man on the stretcher. Get him hey, in. Get him into the blast zone. Yeah, the blast zone he thinks is a doctor. Yep. It just is a mess. And then they disappear completely and it's like FD for a bit. Yeah. This is actually my favorite stage though. I, I, I like this I stage. Like this stage. Yeah. Really Rest in peace, ultimate. It's hazards Yo, off. this stage with hazards <laughs> off is garbage. <laughs> Yo, it actually still apparently transforms. Thank God. I mean, it's banned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Not, like, not even that. But it's like, you see how the platforms are right now where they're yeah. fully ejected out? I, I saw them in E3. That's I played it, on them. That's, they're just frozen. That's and then they leave. Time. And then they come back. They should not leave. They should just, just stay there. So what I want to know is that uh, the other form in, in Hazardless, does the, top platform, does the middle platform stay all the way up or all the way down? It stays up. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty that's, sure. That's hilariously bad. <laughs> like... Like, if you, if you have Kirby's up throw, then that's amazing. But who has Kirby's up throw? Kirby. Meta Knight. Meta Knight. Charizard. Charizard <laughs> yeah. could do it at ground, so he'd just be killing at four. But, yeah. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, right. my God. Yeah, I love it when, like, the, <laughs> when the platform does, like, a baseball catch where it scoops in. It's like, I got you. Yeah. You're, you're out like, of there. You're like, I'm going to fall past him. It's like, no, you're going to fall next to him. Yeah. You're going to land next to him, too. Hope you didn't air dodge. Yeah, but Dill being able to sneak in that uh, down tilt back air. Dill's been uh, really good at those, you know? The down tilt into the advanced tech reverse aerial rush back air. Okay, did you, like, recently learn of the term? Re reverse aerial rush yeah. back air? No. Did you? Okay. I just like saying it today. Because <laughs> everyone else calls it RAR. Reverse aerial rush back air. RAR bear. Reverse aerial rush. That sounds rush. like a bear roaring at me. Reverse aerial rush actually makes absolutely no sense to call it that. But, you know. Why is it called RAR? No, I'm saying that like, RAR is just the abbreviation yeah. of reverse aerial rush. It should be called like, reverse bear. Yes. Yes, it should. Or just turnaround bear. Yes. Why does it kind of have a fancy ass title? Because. I'm calling it turnaround bear for now. I mean, I guess, no, what you would have to call it would be uh, turnaround skid jump cancel bear. <laughs> Shut up. It's turnaround bear. Dill doing a very nice uh, <laughs> turnaround skid jump cancel bear. And oh, oh and he got the uh, full hop up, up air and then fast fill afterwards. Yeah. That's what that's called. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I mean, like, I, RAR has been around since forever. Yeah, I know. It's been there since I, I actually don't know which game it originates from. It's probably Melee. 
because buy it for sure bad in brawl. Yeah, yeah, no, we definitely had it in brawl. So, like, if, we, if, didn't, we didn't have movement options as much. If it was, we yeah. had, had Dacus, you know. Oh yeah, the the cuss. At, at least, but at least Dacus actually tells you what the hell it is. You know, dash attack, cancel up smash. Like, yeah, yeah that's right. No, that. I'm gonna tomahawk them. That's what I'm gonna do. I hate do. tomahawk. I hate that term. <laughs> See, the reason why I like micro spacing is that like it actually it, it defines a type of spacing. You know, because there's, like, there's stage control, right? Like all of these subsets that fall under spacing in general. But like micro spacing is like with punishing. You know? Yeah. That's why I like the term macro spacing. Macro spacing is incredible. Yeah. I'm Where you just swing. You just you know? swing and it works. Like you see Corrin do insta pin kick, macro space, yeah, bro. Yeah, 100%. Like, so you see that space is huge and it's covered. Yeah, did he come throwing a banana peel? Macro space. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's crazy. There we go. Run up and get that crap. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on in this set. Macro spacing just takes it away. <laughs> uh, when you're not paying attention to the match, but you're still basically kind of talking about the characters on screen, yeah. uh, macro commentating. Yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> you're, like, you're not really worried about it. Macro casting. I mean, I'm a little worried. I mean, Frozen has... <laughs> has Terrified. Have yeah. <laughs> <Are> you seen <laughs> this? Oh, God. Frozen actually has the chance to take out Dill, which would be an amazing win for him. Yeah, uh, you know, there was a time when they were going like really even, like literally they'd like go actually back and forth. Like, oh, it's uh, it's an even week, I guess I'll win. It's an odd, odd week, week, it's your game, cool. But then, oh, oh and my then he God! He gets the pin out of shield. Oof! He that's dared you really push him, but that's why Corn likes to chill that far away from their opponents because they're always in range. But see, that was pinpoint, so that was my yeah, card. that was microscope. Yeah, yeah. Literally pinpoint. Yeah, like I had to, I had to bring out a microscope to see how close. He yeah, had, dude. Just to make sure he was close enough. Literally, enough. like split one of the hairs on his yeah. body. Yeah. Now micro spacing that involves glue. Oh my God. Keeping, <laughs> keeping around. So I think he slid away because he fell on the slope. Yeah, I, that was definitely a lot of shenanigans. Yeah, either that or Dill just like didn't buffer enough, or he did like tilt down tilt at like the farthest range. Oh my God. Regardless, I hear Max screaming in the distance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That woman before just tried it. That was very unsafe. I mean, the thing is, when you get your opponent cornered like that, like they got, they want to get out of there. That's no, that, the first. Instinct. Yeah, no, that that was a really good read because yeah. it was just like press a button. Yeah, dummy. And, <laughs> and, then, and then he's like, uh, because you did rising forward air as a to get out of the as corner. a fire emblem character. Like it's the other way, bro. The other way. So uh, and like, did he substance is a vacuum? You know, yep. like all of the hits, like just like suck you in to the top. Like it's, I, I hate. Oh god, that move is nuts. He's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, he's stuck. What happened? It. He's taking at one hundred percent. I mean, this this is like the like Dill's just doing edge guarding for free right now. Like, yeah. uh, like all of that like has a level of reading and like a lot of pressure and mind games. So Dill's just like a really good job of just being like, um, you're not leaving this area. I'm sorry, but this is still corn. And oh no! Oh, oh he, you know what? Actually, jump, it, might, it might be Diddy on the ledge again. Oh god! Ooh, spooky. Okay, Frozen finally. Oh. No, nope, he's back on the ledge. He didn't do a skid jump cancel back air. Yeah, instead he's doing a let go ledge double jump forward air up air. Oh. And that was uh, d uh he died. Forgive us. Dill's gonna win the set two to one. So. Next up is going to be, well, actually, we're going to go into winner's finals first. But next up is going to be Dill in loser side. It's going to be Dill versus Venya. So it's literally grand, but like three rounds earlier. That's a shame. Job, dude. Is it? I don't know how often these guys play. Or do you mean Sonic and Fox? Because how is that classic? Sonic Fox. <sighs> That's a name. One. I mean, you all don't know about Sonic Falcon, but like... <laughs> Jeez, you from the Tri-State, you do? You definitely do. Tri-State Brawl, oh no. Anyway. Anywho, Smashville. <laughs> oh, damn. Jackal versus Odyssey. Here so, Fox does really well in this matchup because he's one of the few characters that like, Sonic is designed to, well, okay. I'm not gonna speak with like a lot of authority on this because I don't play the character, but like Sonic is, oh, you'll you confirm for me. Perfect, okay. Sonic's character is designed to be like, 
you know, he goes he goes in for like those pot shots and he like keeps you out and like he'll just tie and rinse and repeat that sort of thing. And that's Sonic the Hedgehog in a nutshell. Right. Like, that's his personality. But then <laughs> Fox is like, I can keep up with you. you yes. You you're not you're gonna do that pot shot, but there's no drive by. So that's exactly what just happened. You. you saw him just try to do that yeah. said pot shot with a jab and Audi just responded with a jab. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. But <laughs> this is one thing that Fox doesn't have. And Wait, that's a listen, vertical up air, listen. which is Listen, Sonic's back. Jackal has been on point today with those back airs. He has been landing those suckers. He's making Sonic like I know a lot of people don't like watching Sonic and Smash because all it Oh boy, Sonic's just gonna those chill back in camp. But Jackal is fun to watch, god dang it. Infuriate me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean You wanna double jump? Uh, uh Dude, the first hit, the first part of the back air is the sour. Yeah. Cause it got. St oh, good. Good. No, no, no. I, Jackal is. Wow. Missing. It's okay. He's a good kid. I was, he damn is. It. He, if he had Ness's powers, he wouldn't use it until you read your mind. He's a good <laughs> kid like that. Um. God. Man, we were just spin dashing. Ooh, nice catch on that down tilt. Puts him in a bad situation. Forces the tech. On oh, his back, baby. Neutral air in the back air. I cannot oh! believe that worked. See, I hate that move. I, uh, Neutral I air or back air? Back air. <laughs> Bro. It comes out so slow. I hate that move. Bro. It's just, it, you can react to it. It lasts longer than it came out. Like That's fair. It's, oh, geez, you it's honestly fair. got me there. The th I hate you. The thing <laughs> is, the reason I didn't like Sonic and Smash 4 compared to Brawl is because back air has lag when you land down on the ground with it now. In Brawl, though, it, had, it, ca it auto canceled. So yeah, you, you I'm sorry you backers. wanted your broken move to be even more broken. Just, okay, listen, but like Sonic sucked in that game, so he needed it. Yo, Sonic is getting everything he deserves. In yeah. Ultimate? Everything. Dude, I hope Actually, he... except, well, not everything, because if it was everything, he'd just be straight up an assist trophy. Wow! I actually remember. Replace Screw Sonic with, you, replace dog, Sonic Sonic with cool. Shadow, and that would be hilarious. Dude, Shadow would actually make more sense for Ultimate because he loves the word Ultimate. He, sa <laughs> he like, says this is the Ultimate. Like, <laughs> That's so stupid. I hate you. He's the ultimate life form in the ultimate smash. Like, <laughs> it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> but you Sonic mains. You're like, no, keep him. I need oh, my back air. Sonic, what? It's a general. Oh, my uh, God. Dude, like, when he's saying he's the coolest, he's also saying this is the ultimate. Yeah. And like, is Shadow he does say that. I hate when he says I that. I love that, bro. I'm the coolest. <laughs> yeah, I Dude, he's definitely not the coolest, but like, not this all. is the ultimate. Yeah. He's cool to like the edgy eight year old. I love Shadow, dude. God, so give him a gun. Sweet. He's a mean. <laughs> he's gonna use Wario's bike as a move. I feel terrible about not, uh, us, like, Macro casting this match right oh, now. Oh god. We're like barely a macro cast. I'm talking about Shadow, not even Sonic. <laughs> it's Black Sonic. We're not casting, we're just podcasting at this point. This is, oh jeez, no longer listen to this. <laughs> okay. Good stuff, Jackal! <laughs> Get <Yeah>. him! <laughs> Get him good. No, but seriously, Jackal's playing out of his yeah. fucking mind. Jackal is mixing hard. Like, do you see this percent lead? It's actually crazy. Oh. Okay, I, I don't see a. That's okay. So like, that's like that. Um, that's like that little mix where you're like, look, I yeah. did this thing on your shield, but like, you think you can punish me? Yeah. Idiot. No. <laughs> and then you forward smash. I feel like this is definitely like a mix of Jackal just being really good and people just not Ooh. knowing this freaking matchup. Good catch on that Fox Illusion. Jackal's in Grand Finals! I'm not about... Oh, God. Yeah, sometime again next time. Yeah, Jackal. We'd rather him say this is the ultimate life form. Or no, no. He wins. He goes, Maria. No, dude. Sonic would be like, it all starts with this. A back air containing the ultimate <laughs> frames. <laughs> Like, it'd be Dude, perfect. shout out back and He's can't, ready, dude. No I can't way. wait for DeBuzz to become, like, the top oh, player. Yeah. DeBuzz is going to be OD. I like, want I want to beat everyone, dude. So, Venia all of versus Dill. Starting on Smashville for game one. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, this is a... Okay, yeah. All right, peace. La later, yeah. nerd. So, Dill donating Freaking a stock. dummy. Yeah. Definitely donating a stock right there.
Uh, no, he he missed the ledge, I guess, and then like reacted poorly to it. But Venia like capitalized on that immediately. So definitely good stuff. Being like, no, you're not coming back. Get out of here. No, no, no. No, there God could damn be. It, <laughs> all right. So the something that was really cool there, if you didn't notice, was that when he hit the banana. So all right. All right, break it down. For the me. gimmick is you put the if it the banana's not yours, you can use barrel to crash into it. Diddy won't take any damage, and the explosion is there. But the other thing that Dill did in addition to that was when he exploded off it, he bounced backward and he did down tilt to like cross upward. Now he didn't get the, the cross up, but that was sick. So like, appreciate. It was know. definitely ill, bro. Yeah, gnarly. Um. <laughs> All right, so right now, Venny with the stock lead and the percent lead. I don't really think Dill will be able to do this. Yeah, this is like, it's looking pretty bleak in this I, game, number one. But I mean, he can win the set, but No, just... see, at the same time, there have been times where Dill has had, like, an amazing deficit where then he, like, doesn't get hit and then just kind of up throw up airs yeah. for Ninja. But Dill is getting hit, so I don't think that applies here. I mean, every train, every train's gonna be in Venia's favor. I mean, that was pretty obvious he was gonna go for that. The sec every time I see D Dill land a neutral air, he wants to go for the well, downer spike I mean, afterwards. That, that's what Nair was invented for. Yeah, like Sakurai made neutral air from Diddy Kong because this will combo Ooh. into downer off stage. Oh god, he punched him out of the pocket dimension that he was trying to hide in. He made it, dude. He's back from the pocket dimension. And now Dill, like you said, Dill's starting to make this slight comeback here. Yeah, 76 damage is not a deficit that Diddy, uh, like, can't make back. 90, however, yeah, bit worrisome. It, it's not 97, like, even worse. Yeah, it's not like Diddy, like, thrives off of Rage that much, you know, no, compared to other characters. He, he actually isn't. So, like, oh, that, that is death. death. Yep. <laughs> Good night. Now, do you think there's a little bit of pressure towards Dill? Because, like... He has been talking about how he wants to win so many Xenos so he can, like, tie with Sage for most Xenos won. If you want... Oh, see, that's hard because if he wants to tie with Sage, he has to win... He can't lose anymore. Yeah, literally, he has to win all of them. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, he yeah, like he, he told me he could only afford to lose one, and that was last week. Yeah. So, like, I, I'm wondering... Uh, this ain't it, Chief. Uh, but... Um, Did you just meme at me? I might have. Stop it. But Venia. Yeah. So after Dill, after so it's like, it's like John. It, it's Sage. Then now Dill. I no. Yeah, something like that. But like Venia is really close, and E is really close. Mm. So they can't pass Sage, but they might. I don't know. Could they pass the Dill only behind? Is no. that weird that the dude who has the most wins hasn't been here in like a year? That's because he just destroyed like 2017, yeah. bro. He definitely did. It's like I miss that guy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I miss I miss that guy. Good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. That guy. Okay, so we got Battlefield coming out for stage number two. Definitely wants those platforms just to prevent any sort of like footstool shenanigans coming from Venio. When you have that flat open, when you have the flat open stage, that's kind of like Vinny's playground. Also, uh, Diddy Kong definitely thrives off of getting those platforms as well. Dill like Diddy and Dill like will counterpick the stage originally. Dill like usually ends up on top on the stage. However, when Dill lost, this was his counterpick and he did lose. But I mean, that doesn't really cancel out the like seven wins on Battlefield or some crazy number like yeah. that. But this could be the beginning of like adaptation from Venia because he won last week. And like, yeah. if Venny has finally gotten that ill, it took him like seven times, like in a long yeah, I, time, I like mean, in a row. But what, like he's starting to get the download. What Venny has said, uh, like that helped him beat him, was that he actually went back to the VODs, youtube.com slash up 3000, and like nice reviewed plug. his matches. And that's what was, Dill does. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, he, he kind of, he said even after he won, he was just like, I did my homework. And that's really important, you know, watch your VODs. Dude, I will. I we should have a teachers assigning homework assignments to our students. You cannot come back to next Xeno unless you tell me what you did wrong. That would be cool. That would be cool at sign ups. It's like, what did yeah. you do wrong? Yeah, what did you do wrong, what Billy? Did, what did you do? It's like I played the wrong. I I, right, I played Shulk. Venia got Dill off stage really deep, and then Dill went for a monkey flip. 
And normally that would be pretty safe if they stayed on the stage. But Venia went extra deep to make sure. He's like, oh, no, no, no. You're nah, not nah, coming nah, back. Nah. Uh-uh. So we got pretty even stocks right now. Trying to get that tech roll read to the left. Yeah, this, this uh... That I, camera was like I, moving. I like that because Dill was like, like he, the second Venia committed to that banana throw, Dill had to punish after it because he knew he was going to be able to pick it up afterwards as well. Got that cooldown. You know what's actually really cool about I just noticed? Oh, oh no. no. Bad okay. spike. He tried to go for the rocket barrel boost spike. It doesn't spike in this game. Well, it's stage it, spike. Maybe. Stage spike. That's yeah, what I right. think of. Yeah. I misspoke. God, if that's spiked in this game. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh. Ultimate. Does it spike in ultimate? I don't know. <laughs> ultimate is like, like let's do brawl again, but like with Smash Four. Yeah. And and, and dash dancing. <laughs> and Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant would be the little little feces. All right, this is a scary situation for Venia, but with like what Venia can do, what with Reni no, no. That uh -uh. was very dangerous. Uh -uh. Top platform, double jumping out of that situation completely. That that was kind of what I was about to like warn for. Is just like he can like throw really it all away. Yeah. Nice follow up. Went for the Trump and forcing the ledge jump. Yeah, I love that when like Dill will jump with them and like just backer. Yep. What very quick option. Frame is Diddy backer. It's pretty good, clearly. Uh, it is frame fast. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, if you read that, you can air dodge, but, like, that, you'd probably air dodge, you dodge the back air, but then you get hit by, like, up there. Yeah. All right. But he's going to finish off with the up smack. Yep. The, the up smack. The little. Yeah, you reach too far into the cookie jar. Yeah. Ain't having that. Yeah. Diddy Bear is frame five. Thank you, Dyla. 81. Uh, I wish yeah, Shulk that's had a really frame good. five backer. I, I wish Kirby had a frame five aerial. I wish Shulk had anything <laughs> below double digits besides jab mm. and standing grab. Mm. I, I, I believe I feel your pain. <laughs> oh, God. Final destination, no, Venia versus Dill. I'm playing that character in all <laughs> I'm doing that again. Uh -uh. <laughs> let's go. No platforms allowed. Let's let's dive in. Yeah, this is the, we went from the classic Dill counter pick versus Venia to the, the classic, classic Venia, Venia counter, counter pick, pick versus Dill. <laughs> So, like, start, kind of a slow start. They both of them are just kind of playing the projectile game for a bit. Okay, oh, yeah, he's doing that a lot. Literally, Dill just rocket barrel boosted, like, dead forward. Well, yeah, because he has the banana there. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's a free explosion. That's fair. Because he doesn't go into the regular crash. So, like, he, he doesn't go into the regular crash. So, like, he has, like, way more, uh... Wait, less cooldown. It's terrifying. And like, I've been playing a lot of matches with Dill, and like, all I do is just like instantly delete the banana. You just and, don't and want the, it on the stage yeah, whatsoever. But like, I instantly like, there's nothing you can do about it. And like, he's like, yeah, let me just get rid of that. Man, that seems to be Venia's game plan. Sometimes he'll just pick up the banana peel immediately and just like yeah. either throw it against him or just that. So use it. taking the banana is always like a tricky play. Uh, like. Okay, so it's definitely like an optimal thing to do because yep. it's like, oh, let me use it against. Like that. right there, Venny was playing around yeah. the deal. Like he's making it, uh, he's making it uh, a part of his kit, which is really important. It's just that, like, you know, it, it's it's the age old, it's it's the gimmicky thing to say where it's just like, well, the Diddy is much more experienced with the banana. It's like, well, yeah, of course. So like, if story you, is all as time, dude. Yeah. So like, make. Make yourself really good with it, and then you can do like those things. It's just that when initially getting it can be scary because you have to be tricky with it. Because like he tosses it, and then like you need to get it before he makes it part of his domain, you yeah. know. And but if you grab it too early, then you're leaving yourself out. It's terrifying. Hey, you got a power shield coming out from Dill, canceling out that neutral air. I mean, Venia at this point, like, like I always say this time and again, is that Venia loves neutral air, dog. Like, he gets so much off of it's that move. plus. <laughs> yeah, I would like neutral air. To, like, I know that it has, like, other shortcomings. It's not the fastest move. Like, yeah. you have to do all that stuff. But when it hits you, it's plus. It's, oh, plus. And also it combos. I remember, yeah, I remember Venia being like, my up air, my, my nair is frame 10. And I'm like, my nair is frame 10. And he was just like, no, no, I said mine is frame 10. He was like, mine too. I'm just like, yours is plus though. Get out. I'm like, mine's plus when I like do it two inches from the ground moving downward. Like, I have to be like, hey guys, I'm falling in you. 
<laughs> and, <laughs> announce it. Yeah. Quit playing bad characters, man. Exactly. No, 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 yeah. So, ah. Dill. Okay, so Dill took the lead, but he does need to tack on some damage. But the thing that. One thing that, like, Dill sticks to is his game plan. He doesn't change his game plan uh, based on, like, circumstances of the of the game so it's just like oh i have a stock lead i'm still gonna do the thing even if i didn't have a stock lead oh i'm down i'm still gonna do the same thing you know because what he's doing is i'm going to put yourself put you in precarious situations where you still need to make a read you still need to make a guess uh to like not get hit so it's just like this transcends scenarios transcends time dude yeah i was saying like I said, he's playing very defensive, trying to just kind of avoiding all conflict, but Venny is going to be able to find it. Now, only pay, only dealing 52 damage. With the kind of output that you can get with Greninja, obviously, like, that's nothing. The only issue is that, you know, Dill is playing defensive. Diddy's hard to catch. Uh, he's got to make it happen quickly. Right now, okay, oh. He almost had to start up something, but too low a percent where things would connect. All oh, our key missing, but I don't know. Venia, don't run at me. Um, <laughs> it's like one or the other. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the former, though, the low percent thing. Anyway, so yeah. 86 to 26. Um, all right. I, so this is where Venia, like, you can clearly see Venia has, like, completely shifted. He is playing defensive now. He may have the deficit. But, you know, if you're going, he has to, like, go for the kill. I mean, like, there's an hour, a minute and a half on the clock, so this is tricky. This is very tricky. I didn't even notice the timer. It's actually, it, that could become a huge factor. Yeah. And Dill, and both Dill and Venya are probably hyper aware of it. Because if Venya gets a stray hit that leads into a combo, I think he could take the lead with it. Yeah. Because right, he almost had it right there. Yeah. Dill well, had he, to make he, it back uh, off of that down tilt. Uh, there we go, trying to go for that. Neutral air, one minute left on the clock. I like how he fell short with that nair, where he did the nair that wasn't going to hit if Dill stood still, but if Dill went in, he was going to hit by that, and that would have been really bad because he was already coming down with it. And, like, if he had committed to uh, dash, it he wouldn't have been able to shield. Ooh, this is Ooh. big. Vanya looking for some huge reads. Does it again. Tries to that's tack on damage. Gonna that's not going to kill. All right. I, I'll, I'll this is actually mad close. That This might... Kill. Oh, no, 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 give me able to air dodge right through, but it, it's all a point at this point. Whoop, whoop. It could come down to damage. Drags him down, tries to get the wow. down smash Dill afterwards. Wow, it, so the tech dodged the uh, the down smash. If he didn't tech it, that was game. Ooh. Yeah, so okay, at this point, Vinny needs to kill him. But there's no way. There's no way he can do not that much damage. If Dill gets a back throw. I this think is. Oh god, much. there's nine seconds. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, it's like the timer was way too short for Vinny to be able to like do it with damage. He had to find a way to yeah. kill him right there. Right now, and Dill has come back. Yeah. Dude, if he had charged that down smash. Yeah. That like, if he would have read that tech with the... Uh, I, I think his head would have exploded from how big a brain move that was. <laughs> like, it would have dented the wall. Like, yeah. stream <laughs> equipment on the floor. Uh, it just would have been Gone. destroyed. Yeah. Uh, it'd be like, Xeno's canceled. Benny's brain exploded. It was too big a play. Nice. Right, so we're going to move on to losers' it's terrifying. final. Terrifying. <laughs> Life. So uh, I know nothing about that show besides they're ninjas. I only did a few times when I was a kid. Um, not my cup of tea. Yeah, I'm not a shonen guy. I like anime. I just don't like shonen. Yeah, no, nah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. They go out too long, dude. This is losers' final. Is it like One Piece at like episode five thousand or something? <sighs> if only that little. Shut up. No way. I was making a joke. That's no way. Town and City! Game one! Diddy vs. Fox! Nice monkey flip! He got the forward! <laughs> I'm not what, gonna cast what, like that. Why? Yeah, why would you do that? Alright, so Fox Diddy. <laughs> um, this weird. is a matchup that pretty sure all the Foxes agree that Fox wins. Mm. Um, but this is actually like a pretty evenish matchup though. Uh, like, because it's Diddy edge guarding versus Fox, you know? Yeah. It, it's like. Well, the few characters that can like really contest Fox off stage when he's trying to recover, Diddy's one of them. You know, so you have to be really tricky, and it's very scary. But like because Fox is faster and he has back air. Oh my God, that back air! It's a good back air. It's really nice. It, it, I think you call it a nice back air. Yeah, almost, almost. 
Ooh, the falling neutral air. Try to get that combo started. Great tech coming from Dill. He wouldn't have tech that. That could have been an up smash for free. That was smart of Dill. He actually spawned the man peel, waited for it to connect onto the shield before making a move because he knew Adi was thinking about doing a, at a shield back air. Well, that killed. What happened? He died. All right. That was back throw, wasn't it? Okay. Let's go, Dill. Oh, no, he's falling. Okay. Now he's getting back onto the stage, trying to apply some pressure against the shield on that platform above. Dill really likes that platform right now. He's yeah. like, he like, dude, he came back from the, the ledge to it and just like, he's like, got my banana, I got my shields. Yeah. What up? <laughs> he named that platform, Amy. I kind of honestly feel that if Dill is able to win this. We might have new champion, good good kid Jackal. Dude, I want a new champion. I, I don't care. Don't. Why? Five Xenos, no champions allowed. We've never had a Sonic win. You're welcome. What, what do you mean you're I welcome? I yeah, I don't even know what that would mean. Like, there's no Sonics here. There's no Sonic. There really isn't. Even when Camelot lived here, he came here like once every four months. <laughs> yeah, it's actually nuts. He was just like, mm, it's a uh, fiscal quarter. I guess I'll show. Yeah, up. I guess I'll show. I had to like drag him here. Yeah. I, I like I know his job ate him alive. So. Yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, this terrifying play! <gasps> Yo, all right, I respect it. I definitely respect it. Oh, that Do one. Do you respect that? That up smash? That one hit hard. Yeah, yeah. that hit home, dude. <laughs> and now you're fighting against Fox. Yeah, dude. And you're and he has all that rage. It's like, yo, check out this damage output. Yo, check out this forward air off stage. Check out this knockback. Dude, like he has rage, so even though at, at zero on his opponent, like everything's still negative on hit, but it's gonna be negative on hit for a lower amount of time, which is terrifying. I like I think, the mix-up that he does to I get back if, on stage. Ooh, ooh. If Dill, okay, I was all right. Well, I, was I mean, say if Dill takes game one, and I swear to God, Dill good for him, but then he took game one. I swear to God, Devin, if Dill wins this tournament, I'll be so livid. I don't know. I'd be kind of hype. <laughs> I want Jackal to win. I'll be biased as hell. I don't I care. I hear he's a good kid. Dude, if he, I heard if he has Ness's powers, <laughs> he if he would've. had them, if he if he had, them, I'm not saying what he does, but if he had them, he wouldn't read your thoughts. He's a good kid he's, like that. He's a good kid like that, you know. <laughs> now Lucas, he's an asshole. <laughs> Lucas doesn't deserve anything. <laughs> that he dude, gets. that kid can burn in hell, dude. Both both good and bad. He doesn't get anything that he doesn't deserve anything to happen. To Real him. talk, in other three, Lucas' life is depressing. It's really bad. It's really sad. But We're talking about his game, but it doesn't character. mean you bully. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you have to become stronger for it. Yeah, 100%. Hunt it. Huh. All right, so we were here before. Yeah. Uh, Odyssey taking it right back to Town City. Honestly, yeah, totally get that. It's like, look at my Killy up airs. I'm Fox. What? what? Yeah. Look at my Killy edge guard with my forward smash and like whatever. Back air. Forward uh, air. Footstool. Into Fire Fox. Okay. Into forward air. I know. Into. Oh, I know Dill tilt. didn't do that on right. purpose to like <laughs> land into the Firefox, but what a way to like come back. Cause he didn't have to like do up B. E. He didn't have to like uh yeah, he didn't have to do a B. E. So like he just ran into it and it's just like, yeah, I got hit, I'm back, baby. How you doing? <laughs> I don't think he did it on purpose though, but if he did, that was like really good. But then again, like, Odyssey, no, no, Odyssey used his jump. Yeah, he had to do it anyway. I mean, we've been talking about big brains all day today, so. Jesus Christ. You ever, like, erase a banana with one foot and then erase your foe with the other? Yeah, like, all the time. Yeah, all day. Fox dude. does it for breakfast, dog. Yeah, he definitely does. He eats his wheeze. He brushes his teeth to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ah. oh, my God. This all edge right. guarding right now. Oh, I mean, this is how Fox feels sometimes against Diddy. Oh, oh, I mean, you got that regrab. Bro, I honestly thought Dill reacted hella slow to it. And then I went, oh, oh no, wait. It's, it's a it's re grab. No, He's no iframes, dog. Yeah. No iframes. He's like super dead. He, he got Spike oh. so hard, he lost Ooh. both of his stocks. Ooh, up tilt to back air. All right, so Dill's at 81. This is a ter Yes. Dill's Slide in down tilt. I, that, 
So that thing's that that tech has existed in Brawl, but I forget. Like oh, some people, the uh, so Dill did the when you skid back, mm -hmm. you can use the forward momentum that was given to you into like a tilt or a jab or into whatever. Uh, anything that doesn't affect your movement, so then you'll just like retain it. So he did like a forward moving down tilt. Which is like, just think about that for a moment. And then don't it's like, worry. It's like, it's like a slip and slide. Don't worry, it's not like in the real world, so it's not gonna get you. Oh. Like it's very scary. If I saw a monkey coming at me in real life with a, with a, with a clap, banana peel in hand, I'd be frightened. All right, so I think Dill has to take, no. No. Dill has to take this game, or I think Odyssey might win. <laughs> the set? Yes. You think he'll carry that no, momentum? No, if Dill doesn't take this stock, then. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. ooh. Up air on the plant. I think. I think that's spooky. That's some spooky times right there. I, Listen, it is not October anymore, Devin. It isn't. It is November. You should, instead of saying spooky, you should be going ho, ho, ho. Yes, I was about to say Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> it's November. Dude, it's been Christmas since August. It's, it's definitely been Christmas since December no, but, 26th. But real talk, uh, I haven't seen anything, any Christmas decorations. You haven't? Uh-uh, not, not uh, anywhere. Well, like on people? Because I see... I've, I don't think you see the decorations... Uh, purchased yet you just see them everywhere in stores i don't see them in stores oh i do what stores do you go to cvs really yes go to there? your local cvs no i have a walgreens near me that's literally Dwayne reed that's not a good time that's like twice the price but also i don't go there i'm just saying it's near me what, you, you, i don't live in manhattan dog i'm in williamsburg i live in a good area it's nice odyssey banning fd Dill is actually Smart. thinking really hard about this. FD Banning. Nah, he's trying to fucking. Mm, he's trying hush. to stall his momentum. He's trying to stall his momentum. I don't think Dill Ban does that him. as a tactic, but. <laughs> like, I think he genuinely, like, just takes No, his I time. know. No, he does. He does. Me, however. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'll do that all day, every day. I'll be like, yo, bro, we're going to set this game to uh, tomorrow. Mm. All right, so we're back to Town City, and Odyssey is not letting my man breathe. Like, he just went on him immediately. Yeah. Which, you know, that's something that you can really take advantage of as Fox. You know, he has these Aggression. low cooldown moves that, like, that will cancel on the ground. It is terrifying. I love this character. <laughs> yes, die. What? <laughs> He's just like, peace. Yo, oh, wait. <laughs> Devin, right. if I didn't know any brother, I would say you're the brother of Dill and you're biased right now. No, 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 okay, here's the story. Okay. Oh, yeah. That killed. Okay. I think Odyssey is pressing. Yeah, okay. Odyssey's going too fast for Dill right now. Yeah. I was going to say, Pepe was like, yo, I need you. And he was like, I right, bet. And then Falco chimed in and went, no, nah, I got, don't worry. Just, just just play your match. And he went, all right, I'm coming back. He's called Pepe. The, the Pepe. Whatever. Pepe is the freaking meme. <laughs> I mean, Pepe's also a name, but, you know. <laughs> Sure, just the meme. Not, not okay. Just. I'm just saying the only other animal. The memes. I, I'm just saying maybe you confused the two animals. No. What did you call him? Peppy. The hair. Peppy. Peppy oh, hair. Peppy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, all right. I don't know if this is looking good for Dill. Dill has to. All right. No. Well, I mean, every time I'm like, Dill has to take this stock now. He's, he's like, like he oh, just, okay. He's like, yeah. He, he like heard you. He's, like, I'm he's just like, doing what's he like, doing? I do have to take. Uh, I think he was. Uh, Lasting out the oh, in no. invincibility from respawn, but that's like still like a precarious situation. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh! Oh, no. oh he went for it! No! no. Oh. Gotta go for a second down air. I mean, he has to because he came back. How cool would that have been, though? I like it would have ice been. cold. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's it. There it is. Banana peel toss downwards and Dill's chance. At winning the most Xenos in Smash 4 history yes. has been obliterated it's in one dead. up smash. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dream. To kill Sage is your uh, champion? Yeah, most. It is the real wins. champion. Yo. It's those shorts, and, dude. Like, when he was like fighting all like those enemy ninjas or whatever, and he was like, oh, this kid's skin is like, baby smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Town and City game one, grand finals. <laughs> Jack will need two games to win to be a. The f his first Xeno win in Smash 4. Yeah, dude. Jackal doesn't he come here that often. I'm upset. Okay, whoa. 
Hold on. But he Whoa. is a good kid, so it's If he right. has Sonic <laughs> Jack, uh, we've never had a Sonic win, as you know, ever. Sonic Who cares? It's good that oh. He's on track, though. Devin, what's wrong? <sighs> Tell me your thoughts. It all starts with this. <laughs> An up, throw the coolest. an up throw combo containing the ultimate power. <laughs> okay. So we got, you know, Jackal. Once again, I like to comment that Jackal plays uh, really aggressive with Sonic. He likes to be in front of your face a lot of the time. Even though he has like a full stock lead with percent to chew off, he is still like just rushing down Audi hardcore. Which is not something to do against Fox. That was the. Trickiest back air. Trick game? Yeah. Like the SSX tricky? Yeah. You know, the Uptil gonna try to get that follow up. He does the exact same thing right back to him. Oh, he got the taunt. He's summoning light. He's on uh -oh. Green Fox after all. Dude, when Audi taunts, I, I get spooked. Oh, he tried to do it again. Green Fox. I'm shocked he's playing the blue green color. Why? Wait, he's summoning his inner light, bro. Oh, okay. Great. Oh, he missed the platform ledge? Okay. That was smart of him. Because I, I was thinking he was probably going to go for like a back air right there, which a lot of Sonics like to do. But <laughs> it would have been nice. But it would have also caused landing lag if he whiffed. So he mm. opted to go for the forward tilt the second he landed. Wow. Mix-ups. That was actually a pretty good reaction. Like, they both went in uh, for shield to to react what they were going. Oh, bye. Oh, wait. Whoa! Wait. No way. He Yo! sent him. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get this again. I'm uh, I'm, I'm going to tweet that real quick. Yeah, okay. You got no! it. No. Okay. Could you have? Uh, that was like. Here you go. Well, first of all, let me that, was, that kill. That's because. I'm going to tell you right now. Here it is. That is because. What? Jackal is a good kid. What? Oh. Look, he asked, no, I'll save you, bro. <laughs> he doesn't want to kill you like that. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to kill. He doesn't want the he wants to win the good way. With a with a forward tilt off stage. Is he coaching? Wait, yeah. is he coaching? Is that banned? Uh I'm pretty sure it's legal in between games. No! What? Since when? Since always. No! Okay. Got it. That's just that's just banned next week. Coaching's been banned in majors forever. Yeah, this is a local. Oh my god. Starting with the ultimate dog, like, with, get this crap Are out of here. Are you actually against it? Yes! Oh, I don't know about that. It's stu- I, I used to be four, and I realized it's dumb. All it does is just stall. Man, you in a stall, you really, you really gotta get to work tomorrow, huh? It's not just <laughs> that, but, like, I'm, I'm a huge advocate of momentum. Of stream time? Of Momentum like isn't real. It's only if you believe it's real. But it's not real. But... Are you calling Momentum Santa Claus right now? N no. Go. What? I'm gonna smack you, Ralphie! I mean... Jesus. Oh my god. I'm upset. Alright, anyway. I'm mad as hell. Are you mad as hell? Yeah, I'm mad as hell. Oh, Jackal two stocks him. Ah, I love body. Don't get me wrong. I love body. I just got really tight. I I mean, say, stop. <laughs> stop. No, but real talk, Audi's like my second favorite Fox player. Because the Kill Sage will always hold that ring. But well, oh, favorite Fox? Yeah. Dude, and then Light's like a close third. Yeah. Like all, all my favorite fox. And then Larry, Larry fo I like all the foxes. Dang it. I like them all. Uh, yeah. Fox is great. <laughs> fox mains are great. I'm a main this character in all of Wait. Trying to get that back on the platform. Using that spring to just push Bankai away, I like it. Uh oh. 
So that was a good catch with that back air when he was coming back down to the stage. Just in case Adi wanted to go for the Fox Illusion on stage instead of towards the ledge. Would have caught him. Catches the jump at him off stage. Yo, is New Jersey about to win? Uh, I think so. I mean, if, the, if there's jump. anyone who's going to win... I'm glad it's Jackal. I'm glad it's Jackal. He's a good kid. But I'm not trying to count on Adi. Th that didn't look like that should have connected. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I'm gonna be, can we get an instant replay on that joint? Well, if you want to check it out later. I'm going I'm, I'm to look at it good. right now because like, he was in front of him and the pivot grab worked. Let me see that. Let me see that. Oh, he got up smash though. <laughs> he was behind him when he grabbed. Well, I mean, he does put his hands behind him when he grabs. Yeah, I know. And that means he just has glue on them. That's actually not. Those aren't gloves. He's dude. actually. This is just his hands covered in glue. Yeah, dude. In Elmer's. Because he's a four year old. And that's like <laughs> literally what we all did. You know, when you like peel it off. I did not eat glue when I was a kid. I didn't say eat. I'm saying you oh, put it on oh, your hands and then oh, you yeah, peel no, it off. Oh, yeah, no, I did that. Okay, yeah, of course did you did. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying that's what, like Sonic puts it on at the beginning of the match. I felt like a match. snake. He puts like it on at the beginning of the match. Off yeah. My skin. And then like it, win or oh, lose, shedding. at the end of the game he like peels it off, has a good ass time, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then he does it again. That's glue, dude. <laughs> oh no, not like this. I can, I'm never gonna look at his hands the same way again. It's dude. terrifying. <laughs> it's ruined. They're so white. That means that he like lays it on there thick. Yeah. Like that's several bottles. Yeah. Uh, or maybe he has like the jug, like the refill yeah, jug. Yeah. Definitely took his mom's jug that she uses for. Why like, would paint. she have? What is she teach arts and crafts? Yeah, dude. All right. Yeah. She keep. She keeps a. Oh. Uh, oh. oh, that could have killed. Oh, that could have killed too. She keeps a scrapbook, dog. Stuff. How big is a scrapbook, dude? It's like miles. <laughs> Tails Prower. <sighs> oh, there it is. Forward smash. Jackal, new Xeno champion. Sonic the Hedgehog, also brand new character to win a Xeno. Killing him with his glue fist. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> glue fist. <laughs> this is the worst commentary. I have ever supplied, you know. I, I, I think it wasn't the worst. Uh, wow.